So before we get started with this video, I do want to give everyone a disclaimer or a heads up about this video. This is going to be a very serious topic and this is going to be a very serious subject because when it comes to domestic violence, it is no joke. It is a very serious problem and there is awareness and everything going on for domestic violence and all this stuff and there is some places that give mental help for it so keep that in mind as we go throughout this video this is a very serious topic that i want to talk about and it's evolving quantum tv which is the main topic of this video so if you guys never heard of this guy before and if you're just tuning in for the first time, let me catch you up to speed real quick. He is a copyright abuser on YouTube that everybody hates and nobody likes him because he always acts so rude and disrespectful to everyone. So, and he's gotten so bad, it has now gotten to the point where he has been arrested. He's gotten so bad, it's gotten to the point where he's been arrested. And before I get carried away, I do want to say I made a video in the a couple videos in the past talking about Quantum TV. And I even said in one of my videos, I'm not going to make a follow-up video until something magnificent happened or something crazy happens. This is something crazy that has happened. And I figured it's worth talking about. Because if you guys haven't been heard or if you haven't known about quantum tv for anyone that's new that never heard about this subject I, I don't know how you could have at this point but like i said to catch you up to speed he is a copyright abuser that has no respect for anyone on youtube whatsoever he has no respect for any other people whatsoever he'll basically abuse any, any copyright system or he'll abuse any, anything to go in his favor his reputation with the YouTube community has been destroyed, and his reputation in real life with the law has been destroyed, and now he has been arrested, and everyone's been making memes about him on the internet, making fun of him. I mean, memes are hilarious and all, but getting arrested for committing a crime is no joke, and it's a very serious matter. I'm not saying making memes about it is bad and all. No, of course not. I love memes. Who doesn't need, who doesn't like a good laugh? I apologize for stuttering, but uh, th this has gotten so bad where Quantum TV has been arrested, and there is an article that I do want to talk to you guys about that kind of dis explains his arrest and everything. Especially, he has some questions he needs to answer, too. Like, why d did he go after the Act Man, Review Tech USA? Like, there was no need for any of that. But I'll save all my hate and speech for later. But let me just pull up the article. No need to keep you guys here any longer. So I'm going to read you the article and give you my thoughts and opinions as we go along. The official records accuse Quantum TV of physically assaulting an unarmed woman and preventing her from seeking help from law enforcement. Furthermore, they suspected him of attempting to access the victim's bank account and transferring funds without her consent. Reports suggest that the victim has suffered injuries on her hand due to the attack. The details surrounding the incident are unknown and have not been disclosed to the public. He went straight from a copyright abuser to an alleged domestic abuser. I think it was made pretty clear that Quantum TV is more than just unstable. He is a criminal of the United States now for committing crimes of stealing money by trying to transfer for money for someone's bank account and committing domestic violence by hurting somebody. And obviously this is a huge no-no. Like, you, you can't do something like that because it's obviously against the law and you're going to get in serious trouble and you'll face consequences for it. And that's what Quantum's going to be going through right now. I think that anybody with a brain can clearly see that Quantum TV deserves all the punishment he has gotten throughout the years. From abusing the copyright system and weaponizing it against content creators like the Act Man, Review Tech USA... A bunch of other content creators. 
the track record just goes on and on. But for the sake of this video, oh, I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts and concerns as we we continue through the article. But before I do, I just want to say Quantum TV deserves it. He deserves to be fucking arrested for the crimes that he's committed. And quite honestly, I really don't care about what has happened to him in terms of if he will ever see the light of day ever again. I hope to God he doesn't, because if you think about it, for someone that commits a crime, you think that they would learn a lesson in jail, right? Well, let's just look at this for a second. Look back at Quantum's track record. Has he ever apologized to anybody when he was doing YouTube? Has he ever apologized for anything he has ever done in his entire life? No, of course not. The whole YouTube community even talked about this in terms of, is he ever going to apologize to anyone? Is he ever going to admit what he did was wrong? No, of course not. And it, this is going to be very funny to me because now Karma seems like it finally caught up with Quantum TV and he's going to get what he deserves. But let's get back to the article now, shall we? The Seminole, I think is how you say it. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office arrested him for obstructing justice related to domestic violence. And he reportedly faced charges of a first degree felony according to the public information available which was also available on Twitter, describing his arrest. The exact type of tampering he was performing was hinder, delay or prevent communication to law enforcement officer or judgment information relating to the commission or possible commission of an offense or violation of a condition of prohibited, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, I apologize, or parole or releasing a pending Judicial proceeding. I think it was kind of obvious how th this person was not going to let let Quantum go. It's been made pretty clear that Quantum was trying to delay the inevitable before this person got away and d decided to get law enforcement to help. And it's been made very clear that Quantum TV needs to be held accountable. I don't know what it is with this guy, but he clearly needs a goddamn reality check. And if you really think about it, at the end of the day, for all the things he has done to the YouTube community, for all the things he's done on to other innocent people in real life, he deserves the punishment coming for him. And rightfully so. We must not forget the impact the whole situation placed on society. Domestic violence is a severe problem affecting millions worldwide, but most remain unheard of Quantum TV's arrest for domestic violence. It encourages victims to come forward and fight for justice. When news about domestic violence surfaces, it can have a domino effect that impacts society. Overall, news about domestic violence can be a catalyst for change. It can increase awareness, encourage people to act against domestic violence, and promote healthy relationships. I mean, if you think about this realistically, ever since this entire subject broke out, I think it's safe to say that I have never seen the entire YouTube community more rallied together than before. In terms of them coming together, making a video each expressing their own thoughts and concerns on their own channels, and they all express their worries, their thoughts and concerns, and their opinions, and they're trying to explain, hey, this is something we should not do. Just remember, next time whenever we're in a controversy like this, or whenever we're in an argument, just remember, what did Quantum TV do that we should not do? Just remember, no one wants to be like Quantum TV. You know, that Spongebob meme in one of the Spongebob episodes where it's like, remember, no one wants to be a Squidward. That's pretty much what's going to happen here. Remember, no one wants to be a Quantum TV. Meaning that you should not act like a complete narcissist. You should not act like a complete douchebag. And you should not act like a complete criminal and commit crimes for your own selfish benefits. That's really all I can really say about that. So, I mean, at this point, man, at the end of the day, none of this should have happened in the first place. And this is all 
because he can't handle a pe people's opinions on Elden Ring. Let that sink in for a second. All of this because he cannot handle criticism about his Elden Ring review. This is literally Quantum TV's own fault that he's in this position. And and guess what? When this subject continues to break out even more, he's going to get in even more trouble for it. So, all I'm going to say is, to wrap this whole video up, Quantum TV deserves to be arrested. And he needs to face some serious jail time. Especially for what he's put everybody through. This is not fair to anyone that people had to suffer their channel being endangered. It's not fair that they had the copyright system weaponized against them. And it's not fair that people were put through all this trouble, including the Act Man or Review Tech USA. It's not fair that these kind of people, for example, had to suffer through Quantum TV's wrath. And honestly, Quantum TV is starting to get a lot of karma right now. And like I said already, this is literally Quantum TV's own fault that this is happening. And none of this would have happened if he learned to actually handle criticism instead of acting like a crybaby. So, if you guys want, I'll probably make a follow-up video when he gets in court and when he gets put through the entire justice process of court and everything so when his court thing statement has been finally released and everything i'll probably make a follow-up video explaining how, how he has been put in jail and for how long so if you guys want maybe i'll make a follow-up video on that i i would be curious to hear your thoughts and concerns as well throughout this entire video so have you guys ever encountered this guy before have you heard of this subject before I am pretty curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments about this. Just again, remember, this is a very serious topic. I was even hesitant on talking about this, but seeing what people have gone through YouTube against this guy, I think it was only fair that I made a video expressing my worries for the YouTube community. And I'm serious when I say this, but I am genuinely worried that somebody like Quantum could end up on YouTube again. There could be another person just like Quantum, but even worse. And I do not want that to happen. I pray to God that something like this can be avoided in the platform in the future. So, I hope you guys can understand my worries. I understand your guys' worries. I understand everyone's pain that they had to go through for Quantum. And it's fair that Quantum gets arrested for his crimes. So, I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this, but I still wanted to express my worries for the YouTube community. So, with that being said, thank you guys all for w watching and for listening. I apologize for rambling on for so long. And until next time, you guys, I'm talking about how Quantum TV got arrested and Karma finally caught up to him. And I'll see you all later.